Hi, I'm Tony from Nian by Rap Australia, and today we're going to look at one of the family of three oxygen resuscitation bags. In this case, the Oxy Rescue. Uh, it was commonly called the Oxy Boot as well, and you can see by the the shape of the, uh, especially the the base kit that it is uh, boot shaped, I guess. Um, what we've done is put lots of improvements in. So. Uh, some of them are, instead of using the Velcro handles, we've now got magnetic closed handles. Makes it much easier to open and, and open the, the straps. Um, again, versus some of the versions you've seen, we've now got a fully uh, coated webbing on, on these handles. They even feature uh, C-clip handles to be able to remove the, um, the handles and replace them if these ever became damaged. So just little things like that are are added in. As I said, uh, it used to be Velcro attachment between the two, now it's magnetic and quite a strong magnetic fit. Um, and now we'll walk through in a bit more detail the bags and um, with all our bags they come either, they typically come as an empty version, but we do also uh, stock the bags to your requirements and we've got several standard versions of that stocking. Um, that we can do for you. All our new professional series, NAN professional series, are made in a new environment-free fabric, which is an antimicrobial, kills 99% or so of the bugs around. Um, certainly, so versus the earlier versions, that's one improvement. We've already talked about the handles. Um, we've already talked about the magnetic attachment. So getting rid of Velcro, especially if you do remove, or when you remove the top pouch. So if we start um, by looking basically through the, um, through the bags, probably start with the, the, the kit version first, and I'll open it up. In this case, we've actually stocked it with, um, with typical components that we would supply with, um, with, with this bag. If people wanted it stocked, as I said, really can tailor that to exactly what people want. But um, in this case, and hopefully that's going to be fairly visible, you'd obviously have your oxygen cylinder. Uh, we don't sell them, they're things that you would supply, but that'll take a, um, a, a C-sized cylinder. And typically, as you would get it from us, um, we'd supply the regulator, oxygen regulator. I won't bother. This is one of the allied units, but I won't bother to sort of take it out. You're all familiar with that, or we can cover that off in a separate video later on. And then within the bag, We've got room for the adult and child therapy masks. Uh, we've got pouches, again, a bit hard to see probably, but pouches for, um, for storing other, compa other components in here. Again, more pouches over this side. Um, we've designed it deliberately so you can, with these windows here, you can actually read the, the um, oxygen pressure without having to open the bag. Um, we would also typically supply it with, um, with some extra oxygen tubing and also the, the CPR mask in a, in a hard case. Um, the actual uh, oxygen hose can, um, if we're using a, a suction device, which we can talk about later, that can come through here into the, uh, into the top pouch through um, one of those eyelets there that, that matches up. It's a really neat compact size bag um, made to get every, as much gear as you could normally carry or would want to carry into a fairly compact bag, as I said. Really quite reasonably priced. As I said, lots of features that we've added in, including, again, coated handles um, and the removable ones through the C-clips, as we said. Um, the top pouch, just to keep going, um, often people will carry perhaps a BVM in there um, or other bits and pieces. Uh, including the, the linkettes and um, certainly if you did have a suction device um, such as our NEVAC oxygen powered suction uh, that will fit in here and the, uh, the tube and I can probably um, go to my little box of tricks and and get, um, so that's our NEVAC um, oxygen powered suction unit. So that will go, um, that will certainly be carried in here. That sits, I won't put it in, but basically sits in this compartment 
uh, through the loop that we've got there. Um, the hose will connect through through the um, the eyelet at the bottom, if you can see that, and will actually go into the the, the pouch at the bottom. Um, and again, um, these come with. And I guess the neat thing about the the knee back um, is that they're it's a fully disposable system. So these collection canisters that connect onto the the knee back unit. Um, when you get aspirant in there, literally you put the lid on and, uh, and, and dispose of it safely. So there's no need to wash any of the suction devices that you're, you're potentially doing now if you're using a reusable device. Probably subject for a di different discussion, but I just wanted to show you that that certainly will fit in, uh, in this bag and as will other bits and pieces um, such as uh, bag valve masks, etc. And as you can see with all the loops, we've provided flexibility to put whatever you want in there. As I said, probably one of our most popular bags available in green and blue as a standard. And I think we also have the red available as a made to order item. So there you have it. That's our Nian Oxy Rescue bag. The Nian team here at Wrap Australia would love to help you with any issues, challenges, problems that you've got and help you find a bag that's exactly fit for your use. Give us a call, send us an email, we'd love to hear from you. And thanks very much for listening. Bye now.